What's up Rangers? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another Dino Fury review. This time I'm doing the wave one of the Dino Fury figures. If you guys saw yesterday's video, that was the Dino Fury Morpher review. However, you are going to be seeing the Dino Fury Morpher again throughout the next couple of videos because there's um, this year's gimmick is the Dino Fury keys. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that I went over the Dino Fury key that came with the Morpher. So you're going to be seeing the Dino Fury Morpher a lot throughout uh, the course of these reviews. So this is wave one of the figures. And I like what Hasbro's doing with them. Um, we've got the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Pink Ranger, and then Boom Towers off to the side. Here's Boom Tower, just in case you guys were wondering. So I like what Hasbro's been doing with them. So let's just jump right into the packaging before we talk about the figures. So here is the Red Ranger's packaging. As you guys can see, Red Ranger's up there. Dino Fury logo right there. Uh... He comes with an exclusive Dino Fury key, which I will show off in a little while. Um, the Power Rangers logo down there, and then of course it says Red Ranger, and of course it's made by Hasbro, which I actually like Hasbro better than I did Bandai, and I've talked about that a lot in the past, but I'll do like a sit down video in the future and just talk about that. Anyway, back to the review. And then on the back of the packaging, you have the Red Ranger. And then the key makes sounds in the Morpher. So pretty cool right there that we got the Red Ranger. Okay, put his box to the side. Um, here we've got the Blue Ranger. So same deal, Blue Ranger, Dino Fury. Uh, he comes with his Dino Key. It says Blue Ranger down there. The Power Rangers Hasbro logo, just in case. Um, and then the back of the packaging shows Blue Ranger. And then the Morpher again. Now, I do want to point out that Hasbro did keep their boxes consistent with... Uh, like they did last... Uh, like they did with Beast Morphers. So if you have seen any of my Beast Morphers reviews that are on this channel... You will have seen when I've gone over the packaging that it's not just the Red Ranger on each respected on each box. On each packaging, it's the respected character, which is one thing that Hasbro did, whereas Bandai only had the Red Ranger on every single box, on every single figure box, on every single like roleplay box or whatever. But this time. Hasbro took it one step further with Beast Morphers and Dino Fury and gave us the respected Ranger on each box. So, you saw the red and blue Rangers boxes. Now let's go over the pink. Uh, literally, it's the same deal. So, Pink Ranger up there, Dino Fury logo down here. Power Rangers, Pink Ranger. Her respected Dino Key. Uh, turn the box over. A uh, nice image there with her and her weapon. And then the morpher makes sounds. Okay. Um, and then here's Boom Tower. So you got a nice image of Boom Tower right there. Dino Fury. Um, Power Rangers. And then Boom Tower. And then he comes with his respective Dino Key. And then... And then the figure itself with the weapon... And then that the Dino Fury Morpher makes sounds with the key inserted. Now, I do just want to also mention that I am really excited that Hasbro is continuing to give us uh, Dino Keys for the villains. Because if you guys have seen um, last year when I put up some of my Beast Morphers reviews, I, I stopped doing them. Uh... If you have seen any of those videos, when I when I went over the, some of the figures, I showed you that the villains came with, uh, they were called Morphex keys. So I showed you the sounds that it made in the Morpher because the villain keys hacked the the Morpher for Beast Morphers. So 
I, I'm really excited that um, the, for Dino Fury, we got villain keys so we could like mess around with the morpher and just like see what it does. But um, anyway, guys, let's jump into the figures and go over them in detail. All right, guys, so here we have the figures out of the boxes. Um, we're going to take a look at the figures first, and then I'll show you guys their respected um, Dino Fury keys in the, like, towards the end of me going over each figure. So, right now, let's look at the Red Ranger. So, I'm going to take these and put them to the side. Okay. So, here we have um, the Red Ranger, and he's, like, very nicely painted and everything. You've got full rotation in the arms. Uh, the head, I think, can move. Yeah, the head can move full 360. Um, just the paint applications on him look really amazing. Like, the, the chest design and everything. Uh, and it's painted down the back, too, which I like. The buckle is painted gold. Um, his morpher right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, that's like a fully black painted morpher, so they didn't just like give us a non-painted morpher on their wrists. Um, and then he comes with a weapon. Now, I don't know if this is going to be featured in the show, but let me, let me zoom in on my camera so you guys can like see the weapon so i don't know if this is going to be like a exclusive thing that's in the show so far the only toy line that this has been released in is the figures i haven't seen any like premium meaning like any of the role play weapons if we're getting like a, i don't even know what the hell you call this if this is like the t-rex saber or something but um Really nicely painted, really long uh, blade, and then you've got the red handle, so really cool. And I just want to point out that in the um, Dino Fury Team Five Pack, which comes with the which comes with the Core Five Rangers, they'll come with their uh, weapons that you see on the show, which are the Dino Fury sabers. So you're going to be seeing the original figures that I'm going over right now, the red, blue, and pink. You're going to be seeing those uh, three figures again when I do the comparison, and we'll go over the weapons and everything. Like, I'll do a full comparison, but since I don't have them yet, we're not going over them. Uh, but, yeah. So, he's got a lot of articulation. He can hold the sword. He's got, uh, I don't even know if he's holding it right. Hang on. Okay, now he is. Uh, so he's got nice articulation. Uh, I like the head sculpt. They really did a nice job. The legs can, you got like knee joint articulation. The legs... I just made the legs go a full 360. I don't really know if I should have done that. But, like, this is a really nice painted figure. I like that Hasbro gave us an exclusive weapon for the Red Ranger and everything. So, that's pretty cool. And now, let's move on to uh, the Blue Ranger. Oh, and then the belt has, like, the clips and everything for the... Uh, Dino keys on their belt. So, pretty cool. Overall, really nice figure. I like what Hasbro's done. So now let's move on to the Blue Ranger. So, here you guys have Ollie, the Blue Ranger. And in case I didn't say it when I was going over the Red Ranger, the Red Ranger's name is Zato. And just in case I didn't say it. Um... Here is the Blue Ranger, so really nice shade of blue. I don't know what Hasbro did with the original release, because uh, his entire helmet's supposed to be blue, and they painted this part like silver, like in the middle 
of the head. They corrected it, though, on the five-pack uh, of figures. So, like, when I get that, I'll do the comparison and be like, oh, the five-pack's the right blue or whatever. Because I only have these on display right now. But um, when I get the five-pack of the Rangers, I'm not throwing out my current uh, red, blue, and pink figures. I'm just going to put them in storage so that I have the show-accurate colors. But um, here's the Blue Ranger. You know, the silver really doesn't bother me right there, but to some people it does. So uh, I'm not going to go over the full set of articulation because you already saw that. He's got the Morpher right there. Nice helmet, Triceratops, right? Yeah, he's the Triceratops, my bad. And then he comes with his weapons, which are like these Tricera blade daggers or whatever you want to call them. Now, I don't know if these are going to be in the show either. Like I said, with the Red Ranger ones, with the Red Rangers one weapon, because... These were only released with the uh, regular re uh, release of the figures. When we get the five pack, they're going to have their corrected weapons and not these uh, custom weapons or American exclusive. I mean, in theory, you could give your figures like these weapons just to like have uh, cool replicas. Or, like, cool uh, accessory weapons. So, like, I might just, I don't know, I might just leave these with the regular Blue Ranger that I'm going over now. Or I'll put them with the new one and, like, he can have them as, like, backup weapons. But, anyway, overall, pretty cool. Nice paint. Got silver and then um, nice blue all around. So, really cool. And then the figure, like... Nice silver here, nice shade of blue. And then I think this is gray on the arm, I'm not even sure. But let me put the weapons back in so that he can hold them. And then we'll go over the pink ranger next. Okay. And, um... Yeah, so these figures are really cool. I overall like, like, the paint detail and everything. Some some things, like, they didn't paint the neck white or whatever. Like, that doesn't bother me because it's hardly noticeable. But, like, they, they got the paint applications really great on these figures. So I, I do like that. Okay, next is the Pink Ranger. So here we've got the Pink Ranger. And overall, she is one of the greatest figures. Um, we finally have a pink ranger because last season we had yellow ranger so, as a girl. So now we have a pink ranger again. So um, basically, now, like I've s said in the past when you've seen some of my videos, they had... Or if you've seen any of my past vlogs, they've had different uh, releases for Beast Morphers. Because I've told you that. Like, there were multiple Red Rangers, multiple Blue, and multiple Yellow. So, so like, obviously, uh, I'm getting duplicate figures f with this 5-pack that I should be getting in a couple weeks for the Red, Blue, and Pink. But it's worth it because... I get green and black and not have to wait until 2022 to get the individual releases which are probably going to come with individual exclusive weapons like for the red, blue, and pink like I'm going over right now. But for the pink ranger we've got um, Amelia right here. Her, her articulation is the same so I'm not going to go over that too much. Um, really nice detail on the morpher, uh, head sculpt, everything. Um, her, her leg articulation, let me just take the weapon out right here. Um, her leg articulation is good because the skirts are flexible. Like, with Bandai, you really couldn't, um, 
have the girls like do dynamic poses or whatever because of the of their skirts not being properly made or whatever but with the hasbro figures you can now this is amelia's weapon i don't know what to call this thing exactly for me personally i call um the other two figures weapons the t-rex blade the tricera daggers and i call this the ankylo hammer uh to be fair i don't even know what these weapons are supposed to be called all I know is, is that they were exclusive to the main release of the figures and their real weapons, which are the Dino Fury Sabers, are being released with the five pack. So here's the weapon overall. Nice silver on the ball right there and a nice pink handle. You know, like it's just a cool weapon. Hopefully that these get released in the show because like we had the um, Cheetah Beast Blaster in the show and then we got that as a toy and we had the uh like i'm going back to beast morphers like we we had a lot of stuff that was in beast morphers that was released into the toy line like the um the beast x king morpher the uh cheetah beast blaster the cheetah claw for red ranger fury mode so, like, hopefully these will either make it into the show or, like, we'll get deluxe weapons for them. I don't really know. But, um, yeah, so really cool weapon overall. And I just really like it. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really, like, again, I don't have, like, any use for it because it just stays with the figure. And then when I get the new ones, I'm going to give them, I'm going to only have those with the correct weapons and then, and everything. So like, yeah, but, um, yeah, that's the pink ranger right there. Uh, she's going to fall. Hold on. Okay. And now for the last figure of this wave, it's boom tower and he just dropped his sword. So here is boom tower. He is one of the, I think, one of the best painted figures for a, a, a villain that we've ever gotten. I mean, you got the black right there. You got the nice looking detail. They painted this figure properly. His arms uh, can actually do a full 360. His head, I don't think his head can. I'm not entirely sure. He's got uh, elbow joint. Uh, I'm not even gonna try that. His legs. Uh, so Hasbro did keep the villains the same, like limited leg articulation. Like you only get articulation. Oh no, wait. Okay, so you only get articulation like this and then at the knee. So that's about all the articulation for boom tower but overall really nice figure here's the back of it like you can just see and then here's his weapon uh, uh there's no official name for this and i'm not giving it one but um so like here's the weapon uh really nice paint application like i mean it's just a gray weapon but overall i don't really care like what the color is so yeah those are the figures now we're gonna jump into the morpher and the dino fury keys that come with the figures and hear those sounds in the morpher okay so here we got the morpher right here and then i'm gonna bring the keys into the camera frame that i need for the respected video okay so uh, let me just adjust my camera a bit no it's gonna fall hang on let me zoom out okay so here we've got the uh, first wave of Dino Fury keys that are official for the toy line 
and these three the red blue and pink are the show keys the boom tower one is a exclusive only to the toy line and i'm gonna go over that right now so here is the red rangers key let me zoom in so you guys can see it better okay here's the red rangers key here's the back of it you got the blue eyes right there for the uh dinosaur looking thing you got the logo on the uh bottom here here's the pin system which reads the key um now i want to point out that these are not the japanese keys so there's no flip gimmick uh, i also mentioned that yesterday um and then here's the design like you have like a nice looking image of the red ranger and everything and then his weapon right there so pretty cool um, now let's take a look at the sounds that it makes in the morpher. Let me activate it. Okay, so here's the uh, Red Ranger's key. Let me let me zoom out so you guys can see this. Um, okay, so it makes like fire noises when you put the Red Ranger's key in, and then if you turn it. It makes that noise, and then you can hit the button, and you'll be morphed into the Red Ranger. So now, overall, I like this Red Ranger's key because it's cool and unique. All right, next key is um, Ollie's key. We've got right here the design for the Blue Ranger. The Triceratops is right there. His weapon and everything. The back of it shows you like this is a this piece right here is supposed to be like the triceratops and then this is the megazord head which i will explain everything in the uh megazords review because these keys can actually work in the morph in the megazord so i'll like demonstrate that after like in the megazord review but let's hear those sounds in the morpher for the blue ranger So like you get that noise and then spin it, link to morphing grid. So that's really cool. Basically you get like elastic sounds or something. Um, Pink Ranger's key. You've got the design for the Ankylo her Megazord head and everything. Uh, and then the front, basically the design for the Pink Ranger and then the Ankylo dinosaur right there. And then her weapon. Now her sounds in the Morpher are really cool. So you get those noises. And everything um, so really cool now the final figure key is boom tower so they gave us an exclusive boom tower key um, so I really like it like they kept the design of it and everything they also kept the sword and everything the back actually shows you boom towers face which is really nice. And then if you put it in the morpher, so it, so it makes like farting noises because it's the villain key and it's hacking the morpher, I guess, or whatever. So you turn it and then you get villain music. And then like, it's just the farting sounds. So overall, the figures are really unique and then their Dino Fury keys are even more unique because of the sounds that they make. But um, yeah, guys, it's time to um, give my final thoughts on everything and uh, whether I recommend these products. All right, Rangers. So now it is time for me to give my final thoughts on everything that I reviewed today. Um, number one, I really do like the figures because 
not only do you get really poseable figures and like exclusive weapons for them, but you get the Dino Fury keys, which are this year's gimmick, and you can only get them with the figures and some other like roleplay stuff. Like, um, you can get them with the Zords if you only want the Zords to have, like, the f those figures, those Ranger keys. I'll explain that in the Zord review, but, like, this year's gimmick is keys. We went back, uh, to the keys with Beast Morphers because of the Morphex keys. Now we got the Dino Fury keys. I mean, this year's gimmick is just fun. You get them with the figures, you get a lot of playability out of it. Um, so I really do recommend these figures, not only because of the uh, gimmick. Well, I mean, you need to pick up the figures in order to get the uh, dino keys or whatnot. And, like, you get the villain keys. The only way to get, like, Boom Tower's key is to pick up the Boom Tower himself. Like, you won't be able to get this in any other... Dino Fury pack, you'll need to exclusively pick up the Boom Tower figure. So, like, you'll get different keys depending on different figures and whatnot, but, like, I highly recommend these because not only do they make a great display piece, but you get a lot of playability with them. You get a lot of playability with their gimmick. Uh, their keys make a lot of sounds in the Morpher. So, I highly recommend this. I just want to say that I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. Um, and so, so I hope you guys enjoyed wave one of the Dino Fury figures. Tomorrow's video is going to be wave two, which consists of only two figures, which are Ion, the Gold Ranger, and Void Knight. So we have the two newest figures that just released a couple weeks ago i've had them since like august um i i've actually had beast morphers stuff for a while like i got my uh the the figures that you're looking at now i've had since like my birthday back in like march i just never filmed anything because i was waiting till i had everything that i wanted for this season to start filming but i'm like let me get the videos out for you guys so Tomorrow will be wave two of the figures, which are going to be uh, Gold Ranger and Void Knight. And then the day after that is going to be the Zords. The day after the Zords video goes up is going to be the uh, Dino Fury Saber. And then until I get the five pack, reviews are going to be on like a hiatus or something until I get the five pack, which will consist of my reviews being uh finalized and everything and then i could go back to like vlogging and stuff but anyway guys enough rambling i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already i'll be back soon with many more good videos drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it and don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next i'm your pal power ranger fan signing out don't forget to stay awesome and keep it awesome and i will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks everyone.